everyone welcome to an academy myself deepak krishna bhai am ma structural engineering ami so this is the first lesson and the factors affecting workability of the concrete series or the new course so in this lesson we are going to see how the water content and cement content affects the workability of concrete but before that please subscribe to the youtube channel of the an academy also follow us through the official app and the website of an academy so let's start Hello everyone good to see you hope you having a great day so this is the first lesson in the factors affecting the workability of the concrete course okay so before that let's say something about the course before entering today's lesson so this question or this heading is it has to be one of the most familiar one for one of the for one of the almost all the civil engineering students in the entire <laughs> world maybe okay so why because this is a question that is asked repeatedly in the examinations as well as the in the different kinds of interviews also okay so examination means whether it is a internals whether it is a lab or whether it is a university examination wherever it is you can expect this question all right factors affecting the workability of concrete so that's why i have decided to make a separate course on this rather than adding into the fresh concrete course itself okay so this will be uh, helpful for you it will be short and sweet it will be helpful for you to understand what are the factors individually okay so let's start today's lesson so before starting today's lesson let's have a small recap of what are the concept we are going to learn okay or the what, the, what are the platform or the, what are the base we are we on which we are going to learn all right so first and foremost let's see what the workability is okay so the first and foremost let's see what workability is so to understand a technical topic as usual we must have a definition okay to make it very simple and to make it understand easier all right so we have two definitions here that is according to ASTM C12593 okay it says that or it defines workability as the property determining the effort required to manipulate a freshly mixed quantity of concrete with minimum loss of homogeneity okay so this is, uh, says that it's a property okay that determines how easy okay how easy the concrete freshly mixed concrete to work with or to manipulate its properties all right with minimum loss of homogeneity or minimum loss of the proportion of the mix okay so this definition um, defines the workability as a okay as a act or as a effort okay and in, in base of the effort okay while the second definition says that in accordance to aci 116 r90 that is aci 1990 the property of property of freshly mixed concrete which determines the ease and the homogeneity with which it can be mixed placed consolidated and finished so this is one of the those definitions that will be more familiar to us okay or maybe it sounds more familiar to us all right that is this states that it is a property of a freshly mixed concrete which determines the ease and the homogeneity with which it can be mixed placed consolidated and finished all these terms are con connected to the workability itself okay now our code book is 456000 the page number 17 of it says that the concrete mix proportion should be chosen such that the concrete is of adequate workability for placing conditions of the concrete and can properly be compacted with the means available okay so this says then one must this uh, uh, says that one must choose the ingredients and the mix proportions in accordance to the workability with which it can be worked in uh, also based on the available methods or avail available means on the site okay so this sentences or this entire note itself shows the importance of workability to a concrete okay or to a construction site okay now let's see what are the factors let's see the list of factors that affects the workability okay water and cement content we have mixed proportions and water cement ratio shape size texture grading of aggregate admixtures and the environmental conditions right now let's move on to today's topic or today's uh our oh, okay so today's concentration will be on the water content and the cement content in a mix of concrete all right or how both of these affects the workability of concrete all right so let's start let's start with the water content itself okay so water content from the name itself we can understand that the amount of water that influence or that present inside the concrete mix okay now let's see how that water affects the concrete or uh, the workability of the concrete pardon me 
So first and foremost that it has a significant influence on the workability of in a given volume of concrete. Yes, that's the first sentence we have right there. So as we all know from the term workability, okay, uh, once you know familiar with work, what workability is, the sudden thing that comes in your mind is how easy the work, uh, concrete flows or how easy the concrete to work with. Okay, so from there you can understand that it has a very direct relationship with the water itself. So water content affects the workability in a very very large extent. All right. So how it how does it work? Okay, it say uh, it uh, works that. The higher water content, higher the fluidity of the content. Okay, so if we look the term workability, we have lot of other terms associated with it like fluidity, flowability, uh, transportability, easiness to place with, easiness to mix, easiness to compact. So all these things are connected to the workability itself, but it has its own individual meaning. Okay, so that means that if the high amount of water content is there, the fluidity of the concrete or the flowability of the concrete will be higher, which means that the water content is more the concrete will be easy, easier the concrete will be flowing okay or the easier the concrete will be converted into a fluid state okay that means not completely in a semi fluid state depending upon the amount of water you add it into it okay so <coughs> but this is some of the common practices that you can see in the work site but once uh, but we must notice that the addition of water to alter the workability should be the last step to be to be adopted okay to manipulate the workability why so think like this you have a construction you are a site engineer or somebody in charge and the construction site is going on and the uh, you have the concrete mix going on all right you uh, you have the labor over there or, or somebody who is in charge of mixing the co uh, components of the in concrete and you just give give him the in charge and you went away okay and the the fellow who is mixing that will mixing the who doesn't have much knowledge about the scientific um, uh, background of this uh, mixing as well as the proportioning he will just add on the concrete uh, add on the water okay at least uh, in the at the extent to which the workability attains uh, for his convenience all right that means just to mix place and to compact and all the stuff to be done what his duty is just to place compact transport and all those things but not the end result or not the concrete strengthening okay that's our our duty all right so please understand that if the more the water is there the uh, the more the it, it affects the water semen ratio in a very high content which results in the segregation and bleeding all right so how because more the water the semen paste won't be in a real you know what can we say in, a, in proportion which result to the bad bonding of the ingredients okay which result in the separation of ingredients which is the segregation all right if more the segregation there will be a high high chance of bleeding and also there is a lot loss of strength also all right so i hope you understand what i said so so that means that we have to adopt other methods to improve the workability of the concrete like addition of fat mixtures can be a good method and also uh, if we add a lot amount of water to the concrete all right if we think that we have added more than enough amount of water uh, we must balance it by adding additional amount of cement into the concrete mix so that that water cement ratio is balanced all right now in the normal cases the water content okay should be in the 0 0.4 to 0 0.55 that is a water cement uh, slightly somewhere in between the water cement ratio itself so this will be the range all right so in the normal concrete i'm not talking about the sp uh, special concrete like high performance or high strength concrete this is the normal condition all right so for a workable concrete so concrete uh, workability of the concrete different types of workability of concrete based upon the water cement ratio i've done another lesson you can check that in my playlist itself all right you understand how the wa water content of the work of water content affects the workability of the mix now let's move on to the cement content okay so as i mentioned before this also another factor that affects the workability in a very good measure all right how let's see let's understand that from the second sentence itself that is more the quantity of cement more the paste available in the concrete mix wow what's the big deal in that it's a common sense right so i'll tell you scientifically what happens there so the uh, paste available so if if we add more cement to the concrete mix the paste will be available for it okay that means more paste will be available for the uh, for the water to react and hence the hydration product f forms and also the more paste uh, is formed for the bonding purposes all right so this helps in the reduction of friction also because the paste is almost like a fluid fluid substance uh, this is the binder material and also this reduces the and this helps in the reduction of friction okay because the fluid material 
and also this smoothens the movement of aggregate during the transporting placing and compaction of concrete from the pure physical um, aspect all right and also this has a significant effect on the water semen ratio as i mentioned before if the water added is too much we must add enough amount of cement to adjust the water cement ratio so that the workability will not be exceeded too much which will result in the segregation and the bleeding all right and also the type and the composition of the cement has also the influence on the workability of concrete how let's see uh, if a cement type that has more uh, increase in the fineness okay so the more fine the cement is more is the water required okay so this will increase the workability of the concrete from the pure physical uh, perspective all right and also some of the workability uh, and also the water demand is also increased for the cement which has more amount of uh, dicalcium uh, al2o3 or dicalcium silicate all right that is al2o3 or the c2s the dicalcium silicate content in it which will have a more water demand for it so uh, for more water and the more cement content which will result in the formation of very good paste which result in the fluidity of the material which result which results in the lack of friction among the ingredients which results in the more workability which does not which does not exceed to the point where it reaches the segregation and bleeding so that's all for today i hope you understand how the cement and water content affects the workability of the concrete so thanks thank you once again for tuning in please uh, comment your suggestions please rate my presentation and please recommend and share the slides and this is the link to my profile in the an academy platform you can copy this in your browser i can see the works that i've won based on the fresh concrete based on the basic constituents of the concrete like uh, cement what uh, cement coarse aggregates and fine aggregates okay and all the lab tests are, are also explained over there all right so that's all for today uh, thank you for tuning in i wish you a great day ciao and all the best for your exams okay